I'm not doing things like this. I need to do more of it. I don't do enough of it. Uh, my husband keeps telling me, said, you're amazed in our live stream. Why don't you do more live streams? You yeah, know, yeah, I'm really, you're really good at it. You know, I'm, I'm doing my launches now. So I've been doing them every two weeks. And um, it's tiring. I get tired doing lives. You are incredible. Like you're always, she's always live. I mean, this lady has superpowers. Like, how, how does she have this energy? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what is she like? Oh my God. I'm like, God. It's like you pop up everywhere. I love it. I absolutely oh, really? love it. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you for saying that. Yeah, yeah I, I like you. hearing that because sometimes you don't know if the algorithm is showing your stuff to anybody, you know, sir. It is, I mean, like, maybe because I'm always like watching you, so it, it comes to my feed. I always see you. Oh, okay. Well, thank yeah. you. So it comes to my feed. I, I always see you, and, and I just love I just love your energy. And um yeah, you know, and well, you know, for my VIP members, I want to do more, give them more visibility. So I'm changing my VIP in, I'm taking a lot of things. Okay. Um, and I was supposed to do like a training on like what you should be post and all that. I haven't done it yet because things keep, like lots of things keep changing, you know, so, and I'm testing out. Over the summer, I had to change, I had to go back and change a lot of my programs because, because of all the changes. So. I had to change my strategy. I mean, I had to change a lot of stuff. So it's, yeah. yeah, so many been, things are changing, and I've been lost. I love doing research. You know, I spend time doing a lot of research, and I'm yeah. doing a lot of research, and I'm thinking, okay, moving forward with all these changes, you know, in the world generally, and with all these softwares, yeah. what's the way for my group? I can't. Mm -hmm. And then Facebook flagged my group. I didn't know that Facebook yeah. flagged my group, but my group was flagged because there's some features that oh disappeared. And I didn't know it was because my group was flagged. That's why it was disappeared. And then after oh. I had cleaned my group, I cleaned my group. I removed 6,000 plus posts that people posted, removed everything. And oh the features God. came back. Yeah, the features came back. And I was like, oh, my God, my group was flagged. Wow. I know. I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't notice. But, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know. But they, had, they were not... Uh, so even though I was still attracting leads, yeah. they were not featuring me. I was not visible. Oh, wow. But as soon as I cleaned out all those things, I started getting from Facebook search, from Facebook search, I'll be like 20 people, 30 people. From, I was like, what's happened? Something has changed. And that's because then I saw all those features come back again. And I was thinking, oh, my mm -hmm. God. You know? So I'm so glad. I knew it just made me become, like, really strict. I need to, cut, you know, clean out. I'm like, no joke. We spend a lot of time building this thing, right? So we yeah. don't want anybody to just come in and destroy our business and, exactly. and all our efforts, you know? So even anyway, that, it's... Um, even the potential spam stuff, going through all those comments, it's been a pain. Like, all, all the stuff that they change is like... Yeah, I've implemented a lot of AI doing. stuff now. So the AI is doing a lot of work, like blocking people from even commenting. So I have less and less of that now. That's happening. Good. So it's one minute and we can go live. We're live. So welcome, welcome, Sierra. I'm so happy to have you here. And um, yeah, I screamed when I saw you because I was like, oh my God, she's so pretty. She's so beautiful. So nice to meet you. And thank you very much for being a part of the VIP membership. You know, um, yeah, thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have been observing you, watching you, you know, we as women, we do work a lot and we've got family and we're balancing family and work. And sometimes people don't really understand that it takes a lot to grow a group, you know, and your group is, I haven't checked it, but I'm thinking your group is almost 20,000 members now, right? Am I About wrong? 16,000 16, members. 16,000 members. So it does take time. You watch your group go from zero to 100 to 200, 1,000 and 16,000. And it takes time to manage it and make sure that you know it aligns with yourself as a as a as a host you know and also with the people in the community and you know just um growing it properly and then how to make sales because it's not just having a large community especially if you're not a you know not everyone is a high ticket person and even if you're a high ticket coach or consultant you know or marketer whatever you want to call it um, managing a group still takes a lot of lots of time. And I've been observing you at least for the last 15 months. 
since I came into the came into the space. You know, the last 15 months since I came into the space, there are certain women that have been watching and really, really appreciate, you know, the consistency and the focus. And I don't know if I ever submitted my testimonial to you because your group is one of the groups where I knew I was going to get quality leads to my group. So there are groups have signed up with their membership and the, when we attract the leads, it's very, a lot of fluff, but your group is one group. I knew that whenever we got leads, we got quality, real quality leads from your group. And it was small. When I signed up to your group about maybe 6,000 members oh, at a yeah. time, about yeah. 6,000, but it was good quality 6,000 members, mm -hmm. you know, good quality 6,000 members. So thank you for all the work you do. And, and then you joined my membership. Um, thank you for joining the membership. And um, you're your second lap because you've done one year. You're on your second lap in my, yeah. in my membership. So thank you. So oh, did you not know you paid this appreciation? Well, I, I asked for that. That's why. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, but you know. I, <laughs> yeah, you know, so you're your second lap. And I appreciate that for being on the second mm -hmm. lap. And we're, we're having a lot of restructuring of the membership. We're changing a lot of things. We want people who are VIP members to us to really get um, an experience that you'll say, oh, we're here and we're getting this. So it's not just about just promotional, but empowerment, mm -hmm. le learning and empower, you know, just overall 360 degrees growth because you're in the Unleashed Women's um, community. So um, I'm not going to take too much of your time. You do have a topic and I know you're, you're in a launch process at the moment. And I want you to share with the audience, introduce yourself first of all, how did you get started? What made you start this journey of building your group? You know, the path you're taking now, what, what, what took you to this path? How did you come about being in this path, on this path? Okay, so mainly I was, before I started growing my group, I, um, I was at 447 members. And I was launching, I was launching in the group, but I wasn't really getting anybody showing up. And and if I did get one or two people show up, it was they weren't, they were just just there just to be there. They weren't really leads. They were just kind of hanging out and just they just saw <laughs> their life, right? So <laughs> so I was doing that and then I knew that I knew there was value in using other people's groups to get leads, but I just didn't really understand the entire system, like it's a system, it's a whole process, right? It's not just like something you can kind of guess and let me just kind of guess how to do it. Um, yeah. So I, But I knew I needed leads because I knew I had an email funnel set up and I wanted people running through it and I really just needed the numbers. I needed like a lot of leads going through it, of course quality leads. So that's when I started growing my Facebook group and email list and then, um, so that's mainly why I started. Um, oh, by the way, I'm Saima Qureshi, and I'm a Facebook lead generation strategist. So that is what I do. And I'm the admin of Magnetic Women Entrepreneurs. You just remembered that. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm, I'm in launch mode right now. So I'm just sitting here like, oh, I just did a live like earlier. And, you know, I'm just kind of all over the place. <laughs> yeah so i mean what you said is true is if you have your funnel set up and if you know anything about automation you want people to go through your funnel if you after you've done all that work and the only way to do that is to have tons and tons of leads you know and i, I picked up that term from you you usually say tons mm -hmm. and tons and i was like oh yeah. tons and tons i still using that term you know um so you want tons and tons of leads to go through your funnel and that's how mm -hmm. you start to generate sales consistently <laughs> And now you teach people because you were there, you felt mm -hmm. the pain, and now you fix that pain and you don't have an issue anymore. You know, you're generating sales, you're generating leads, you have yep. the funnel, and then now you're showing people how to do it. And, you know, and life is easier. You know, life is easier for you. So um, we're not saying that growing a group is easy. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying growing a business is easy, but when you put the structures together, then you have peace of mind because you've created something that continues to generate you an income, whether you're working as hard or not working as hard. You know, I remember you you had a post where I think you were on holiday or so, and you made a sale while you were away. And, yeah. and that's, the, that's the beauty of setting up everything that you've mm -hmm. set up. 
Um, and today's topic is about how you can generate, or you're going to use your term, tons and tons of leads without mm -hmm. ads. So I'm going to let you, you know, teach the audience and, you know, just share your wisdom with them, your knowledge with them. And um, I'm just going to let you do your thing. Okay. Yeah. Take yeah. So off. that's the main thing that I teach is how to grow and monetize your audience without ads. Um, before what I was doing is I was using other people's Facebook groups on top of trying to launch. I was doing many, many different strategies. I was also doing reels. I was, um, I would batch create like 30 reels and then I would put it, schedule them out. Um, but then you know, I just found it very draining constantly showing up, you know, on video all the time and showing up in stories and all the things. And so uh, I also, in addition to that, I also used to go in other Facebook groups and post and then I would code DM and I would invite them to sales calls, discovery calls, all the things. And it was just draining a lot of my energy. So I really wanted to simplify everything, bring the leads to me instead of going outwards and chasing them. Um, just so it, the consistency of sales comes. And the, the, the three ways that I generally would do that, and I suggest that you do, um, the first thing is you want to have a place where you have authority. Like you want to bring your leads to you, like, um, and, and you want to be able to grow your email list at the same time. So like growing a Facebook group is the best way to do that because you're growing your audience and you're the authority. Um, so people see you as the expert, like, you know, pretty much automatically. And then you have a place to nurture your audience. Um, and then you're able to grow your email list so that you can make sales on autopilot. If you're live launching, then you can drive people to your live launches. Um, and then, so, so that's where you want to have a system in place to convert your leads into sales or paying clients. Um, so that's mainly, that's mainly like the system, like the three step system pretty much. Um, okay. So you, you, um, here you said the one thing you need to do to attract the leads daily instead of chasing them. Mm -hmm. So so what's that one thing? The one thing, so you want you want to go and you want to post content in other people's groups. You want to attract your ideal clients. Um, you want to call out your ideal clients. And then you want to drive them either to your, your lead magnet, your um, Facebook group, or your email list. And you can just choose one of the three, whatever it is that your method is and then um and then that's going to be how you're going to drive them to your wherever you're at you know your world okay fantastic so when when you say post in other people's group is there like mm -hmm. what do you post in other people's group like um it depends so there a lot of that depends on what your end game is are you trying to drive them to a a launch are you trying to just grow your email list are you trying to just bring them to your facebook group um, are you, what are you promoting? What's your offer? And then, uh, so like, once you look at that, then you could really be like, hey, what am I going to post? That's going to drive people for that. So you want to really um, create posts that get a lot of likes and comments, first of all. Um, you can do that. Um, so that way you're getting a lot of eyeballs, like you're getting a lot of, um, you know, people commenting, then the algorithm shows it to more people. Um, so that's like one way that you could do that. There's another strategy that I've done as well, where it's for um, very, very niche down people where you can also um, post content that's very niche down. Um, and then you can drive those very select people It'll be like fewer people, but you can, you know, you can um, like those are ideal for like high ticket sales. Or like if that's all you do is high ticket sales or you just have a very, very niche um, topic. Um, you can just get very, very niche down and um, do like more long form content um, to drive your audience to where you're at, your Facebook group. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, the, the second point you gave here is how to create content that gets good, qualified leads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's kind of like I kind of just said it, but basically uh, you would you would basically decide like what are you trying to drive people to your masterclass? Um, are you trying to just get a good converting freebie that just gets a lot of people going through your email list? So you want to really keep that in mind. And then you're going to write content that is related to that specific outcome. Yeah. So that's, that's why, and then the clarity is really important because if you're not clear what that is, 
then then it beca- it becomes a challenge. Then you're just growing your group just for the sake of growing your yeah. group. Yeah. Um, one thing you want to be clear is like, am I growing a group with just everybody? Am I growing your? Are you growing a group with like like a very niche like a very niche down um, audience or like so? You just want to be really clear like what is your offer. Um, you're not going to just invite anybody and everybody to your group. Like you just want to be like very, very clear. And then you can create content that is catered to that. Um, yeah. So that would be the biggest thing. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I share in the VIP program is um, you have to be clear what kind of group you're growing. You know, what what model, there are different models of Facebook groups. So what kind of Facebook group model are you growing? Are you growing a group to sell a membership, like a promotional membership? Mm -hmm. The way you promote to grow a promotional membership group is going to be different from the way you promote Mm -hmm. to to grow a high ticket group. So that has it has to be like complete clarity on Mm -hmm. your what you're trying the end goal, like you said, and that end goal will determine what kind of posts you put out, the frequency of the posts that you put out, um, mm-hmm. how you write the post, you know, to attract the, you know, the kind of people you want to, if your group is, um, you're looking for coaches, mentors, that you want to craft your posts to attract mm-hmm. them. So when they see your post, they know that that's for them, you know, so yeah. um, before you grow a group, everyone, you know, people just see it, oh, I want to grow a Facebook group. Mm-hmm. but they don't have clarity on what type of group that they're trying to grow. And then they complain that their group isn't growing is because you haven't, you're not clear on your niche. You don't, yeah. it's not defined what you're trying to do. So once you're defined, then the way you grow, your, you send the leads or traffic to your group, your group will begin to grow because you're now clear and you're now defined on what type of group you're growing. So yeah. um, you did mention like you want your group to be engaged as well. Like you don't want it to be because if they're not your ideal clients and they can't resonate, then they're not going to interact in your group as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You did mention, um, what do you call it now? Freebie. Mm-hmm. So I know you have something prepared for the audience. I, I think we can give it to them early enough, you know. So if you want to tell us more about the freebie that you have for them. Okay, so I created a basically a Google Doc, like just a five step guide on how you can um, on the five steps that you can use to get your first first or an extra thousand members in the next 30 days in your Facebook group so that you can get more leads and sales. Um, Do you want me to drop the link? Uh, I think you have it. Uh, Yeah, you did give me the link. So I'm going to drop the link in the group after the call. Um, but so, I over the exact five steps that I um I would have you take um in order to not only grow your group but also monetize. So it yes. goes over the exact process. Yeah. I mean, she's done it. You know, for anybody who is listening and wondering who is she, who is Emma, mm-hmm. she's done it. She's got a sixteen thousand member group, and her group is monetized. You know, and she is sharing with you what she's done. To achieve that result so i think that if you are thinking about growing your group whether it's for high ticket or for promotional membership you will get clarity on her free resource so i'm going to drop the link after the live stream so wherever you're watching it just check back later in the comments and then you'll find the link sign up for her free resource and um, i know she has um a launch going on at the moment you can join her you know her community and learn some more from her but make sure you grab that free resource. I signed up for it. Once she sent me the link, I signed up immediately. You can't know everything. So <laughs> I don't yeah, know I'm everything. Sure. So <laughs> as well, soon as she gave it to me, her. I signed up. <laughs> 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 so um, now you, you, the last one you said, how to get those leads to convert into sales without spending all day on social media. So. Yeah, so that, that's one other thing um, for me was really important that um, because I have two little kids, I have a 10 year old and I have um, my eight year old and they were even younger when I started. But but, you know, but it was really important for me to like be in my business, but also be able to spend time with them as well. So I really like really just. um was not about just constantly being on my phone, constantly being behind the computer. And so I basically decided that I was gonna 
run my business how I like it, not how anybody thinks that I should run it. Um, so, you know, some people don't mind, you know, spending all their hours, you know, on Zoom calls, on like um, those type of things. So that, that that's one thing I would say is that keep in mind, like how do you want to um, make your sales? Like how do you want, like what do you want your life to look like? So that's one thing I would just throw out there. Um, and then like the, the main ways that you would monetize, like there's five ways um, and I've tested out every single way, um, you know, just because you, you do have to like play around with different things. So the first way is live launching, which is something that I'm doing currently. Um, that's like a great way to make sales. Um, and then you have to be very consistent with um, you know, basically whatever it is that you choose. So you want to do either live launches and other ways you can do email marketing. Um, I've made a lot of low ticket sales doing email marketing. Even with my membership, I make recurring in income with my membership. Um, so that's another way that you can make like, uh, like good income. Like if you don't make sales then you're, you still have money coming in. Um, so that's like really, really nice when you just kind of wake up. Oh, I, I made a sale today. That's like really, really nice um, to be able to do that. Of course, for that, you have to grow your email list. You have to grow your audience. Um, that's like really, really important in order for any of those things to work. Another thing is sales calls. You could do sales calls, um, but it's much better than going and doing a sales call in somebody else's group or finding random people because you don't have to spend as much time nurturing um, because they there's a good chance they already know you or you know, you just have a better system in place where you can expect people to show up on your sales calls. And then you can also use DMs. You can, you know, um, what you can sell through DMs. That's something that um, I have done before as well. And then um, the, the fifth way would be through your content. I've learned a lot about writing content. So that's like a really, really good way to sell your offers as well. It's like uh, so there's like five different ways that you can um, convert your leads into sales um, and yeah. it's really just about mastering it and just getting really good at it okay let's talk about this word nurturing people get confused about the word nurturing what what does that entail? That actually don't huh? like the, yeah you I don't, don't like, like the word <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean that's like very vague and it's just very it could mean anything like right <laughs> yeah. So in your own in your own experience, how your or your own opinion, how would you describe nurturing? What's nurturing to you? How would you describe that? Sorry about that. I know you froze, but it was very pretty. Like it was just like you're just smiling on the freeze and it was really nice. <laughs> I'm like, oh oops, I had to go and open up my tab again and <laughs> Sign in again. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about nurturing. I think because you said you didn't like the word nurturing, so it had to knock you off. <laughs> so, I feel uh, like that word is so overused and it, it's not specific enough. So that it could just mean like, what does nurturing mean? And what are the ways that you can nurture? You know, so that, that's why I like to be more specific in my language. Like rather than saying, hey, you need to nurture your audience. Like I'm, I'm literally telling you like what it is that you need <laughs> you need to be doing in order to nurture your audience, basically. Yes. <laughs> okay, so can you can you give us some tips on how we can nurture? So what what can we use? So give us some tips on how we can how you can nurture can your YouTube. audience. So yes. The biggest yes. thing is I would say engage with your audience. Same thing. It means same thing. Engaging, nurturing means same thing. But basically anytime your audience like comments on any of your content, like you need to make sure that you are commenting back. Um, um, and then you can maybe ask a question in return and then just have that like going back and forth. That's one way to nurture your audience. Um, Another way is, you know, by getting into DMs, maybe when, as soon as somebody enters your group, I don't like to do this a whole lot, but every now and then I might um, just send like a welcome DM. I know the DMs are kind of restricted now. We can't DM as much as we used to. I think there's like yeah. a limitation, yeah. but you know, like every now and then I would say, I, I don't think that there's an issue with it, but um, just like watch how many DMs you're sending out and, um, that, 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 those are probably at the top of my head, like 
the biggest way to nurture. And then also posting content that's like, um, not just viral content, but also like maybe story related content and, you know, something that gets, gets the audience to like know, like, and trust you basically. So that's yeah, basically yeah. what, what we're doing when we're nurturing our audience. Yeah. So maybe share some vulnerable content about yourself, something that gets mm -hmm. them to say, oh, she's a real human being, not just somebody. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, not um, just all about sales, like something, you know, like about like why did you start this business or, or even something not related. It could even be something like totally different. Let's, let's talk about Facebook, you know, and yeah. using Facebook to grow your business as a business owner. Um, what would you say was, let me ask you, what, what, what would you say was one of your struggles when you first started using Facebook um, for your business? What, would you, what did you find, like, confusing, difficult? Um, because you've been doing it. How many years have you been doing it? How many years have I been? I, I've actually been on Facebook for business. I think it's about four years. But I was doing skincare before. I was doing skincare before. Okay. Um, okay. I had a skincare course that I was selling. Um, I would say the biggest struggle is starting a group and growing a group and just not knowing what to do with it. Like not like how to convert those leads. I think that's the biggest struggle a lot of people have. Yeah. Um, that even, what, even if it's a small group or a big group, but you just don't know how to convert the, the leads that are there in the sales. Um, I would say even showing up online all the time, that that was a big struggle for me because I was on Facebook and I kept feeling like maybe Instagram's where I need to be at, maybe TikTok mm -hmm. is where I need to be at. And um, maybe that's where my people are hanging out. Like that, maybe that's more fun. Like maybe I wanna have more fun in my business um, and not be messing with Facebook groups and managing all the things, but but in after testing every single platform, because I was all over, I was even on Pinterest, Clubhouse, you name it, <laughs> and um, I just kept coming back to Facebook. Though, <laughs> yeah, I just kept coming back to Facebook because I just found it to be the easiest where you can you know get your leads. Like it's the easiest way to grow your email list without constantly being like you know, showing up in stories, showing up in, you know, kind of going viral on reels. Like it was just, for me, it was like the easiest, most simplest way to grow your audience yeah. without just being all over social media. So approximately how many hours do you think you spend a day on your business? In my business? Depends what I have going on. So like uh, lead generation only takes me about five minutes. Um, and then... Uh, really, it just depends on like if I'm in launch mode, like if I'm just creating a launch, it's going to take more time. Like it's going to take more time for me to go go through the create emails, you know, create my content, all that stuff. Uh, but if I'm like repeating something I've already done, it gets much easier. Then it gets less time. Then I'm spending, yeah. you know, more time with my family, less time in the business. As long as I have like a couple things set up. So I would say on those days, maybe not even ha half an hour to an hour like it just depends if i have like the system already set up then it could it could it'll be like less time but if i'm sitting there creating from scratch you know creating content then obviously that takes um a couple hours a day yeah at least yeah. Yeah. yeah but i try to set it up so that when my kids come home then i'm all about them so i try to do everything as much as i can before they get home from school. So I'm gonna ask you a question. So you initially you were posting around in different groups and then you joined memberships because like literally every membership I'm in, you're in, you know, I see you there, you know. So um, at what point, okay, I mean, I, I think I know the answer to this, but someone might want to know, is it really, you know, beneficial? Have you really found it beneficial to be in all these memberships? And I have. Do you know how many you are in roughly? How many paid groups? I think I'm about in about 10 paid groups right now. Yeah. I think about yeah. 10, if I could put yeah. a number on it. Maybe I a little more. 16. Um, I, I, 16. Well, I think I'm 
off some of them now, but I think I went up to 15, maybe even 16. I stopped counting. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I'm, I'm in a few fa free Facebook groups, but then I'm in 10 paid. Um, my experience was that I was actually at one point posting in about 50 Facebook groups um, every day. So I was posting there, but... And I thought, oh, I'm doing so good. I'm, you know, posting in 50 Facebook groups. And oh, what a good, uh, and, I'm, and I can do it in like 15 minutes. Oh, easy, easy peasy, you know. I was so proud of myself. But one day I decided, let me go back and like just track all my posts and let me just yeah. see what's going on. And I went back and I realized that out of the 50 Facebook groups, they were all, they were all free. I think majority of them were free. Maybe five of them were not free. They were paid. Um, I realized out of the like all the free, uh, I think it was 50 free, and then maybe four, only four of the groups were actually approving my posts. So out oh, of 50, no. only four of them were, yeah, like, like uh, they hadn't gotten approved for like 100 days. Like they, oh were initially, yeah, they were initially approving it, but then they got backed up because I was posting every day. And so they got backed up and then I'm like, oh, so I might as well not even post there because the admin's too busy to even approve my post. Hey, now you've mentioned that in my group, I think I have like almost 7,000 pending approval posts. And mm -hmm. when I look at it, there, there are people who have thrown posts in. They probably just posted and then they've dashed off. And I think yeah. the algorithm stops them being approved. It's not the ad I'm not the one stopping the post because I look at it and I can see that they are yeah. commenting on the, the threads, but I think yeah. they've done it so quickly. They've gone bam, 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 bam on all the all the posts in the group. And because of the speed in which yeah. they are doing it, the algorithm stops them, blocks it. Oh, maybe. It could be. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have a, I have almost 7,000 of it, and, I'm, and there's no bulk, bulk way of filtering it or approving yeah. it. You have to do it individually. I'm thinking, no way. I might do it 7,000. Exactly. Posts yeah. One it by takes one. forever. And I'm, yeah. I'm guilty of the same thing. I'm the guilty of the same thing. Um, I used to allow um, free promo at one point, um, and I would have, but I would have to go manually approve them. You know, like um, or I, yeah, I, I was manually approving it, but it, I got so backed up because everybody was trying to post. So yeah. it was just too much. It was just too much. So it's, they're still there, almost seven thousand of them, and I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, it took me days to clear out 6,000 plus of the mm -hmm. ones who are trying to post on the wall who are not VIP yeah. members. Over 6,000 of that, it took me days. I'm like, God, how am I spent? I'm actually shouldn't be doing this, you know, but I can't pass it on to the VA because the VA probably doesn't, she would know what to do, but she's not me. You know, that's not yeah. post I would see and I'm like, okay, this is okay and I'll approve it. And then some, no, you know, delete it. But I went through 6,000 posts and manually. And then I have this batch of almost 7,000, which I'm not, you know, that should wait. Keep building yeah. up. That should wait. You know, um, but I think what's going on is because people do the threads and they just go to like 10 threads in the same group mm -hmm. and they just post, post, post on all the 10 threads. Yeah. And then the algorithm blocks it because they're oh. going too fast. Okay, same, that makes sense. Yeah, the same content too fast mm -hmm. but if they're editing it let's say they post one and they do a slight edit it will go through but because yeah. it's seven and you're doing 10 in one group and then you go to the next group 10 in one group everything gets stopped oh wow yeah everything stops so it's not the admin the admin doesn't stop it yeah you know and then the admin probably looks at like me now i'm looking at seven thousand i'm thinking no way am i touching that <laughs> It's, time um, it's like really time consuming. It's very overwhelming, actually. Yeah. You know, um, like, yeah. And that's yeah. when I realized, you know, like having like the the having pre approval, like how much of a difference that really makes, like when you have when you sign up for the promo groups, because yeah. you you don't have to worry about whether your post is gonna get approved or not and if your content's actually gonna be seen because it takes so much work to create the content and you want you, you know, you want your audience to see it. You want your ideal clients to see it. Exactly. That, that was the biggest thing for me in terms of joining the paid promo groups because I really just needed my content to be seen on a daily basis and I needed to be able to rely on, you know, them being approved without yeah. having to worry about, you know, what, you know, what's it, going it on. Makes a, it makes a big difference that you're pre-approved. Mm -hmm. 
you make a post yeah. immediately you see the you know you see the notification says it's been approved it goes you know and it saves you a lot of time and people think um at, um promotional memberships are expensive they are not mm -hmm. when you compare let's say you pay 200 dollars it's for the whole year yeah it's for the whole year if you divide it by 12 months and divide it by a day you're paying cents like it's not expensive but if you have yeah. to spend two you know promote for the whole year with facebook i ads, actually looked it up and it, if you go and spend ads on um if you go if you go and pay for ads it costs about twenty dollars and 21 cents per lead for one lead um so and let's say you you want a low part low ballpark number let's say you want 400 members you would spend like eight thousand eighty four dollars to go get those like 400, 400. And yeah 200 dollars you are promoting yeah. for a whole year and you yeah. are a membership that is in a group that the the admin is consistently growing the group for you so you yeah. don't have to do that bit they are growing the group exactly. for you so Sometimes when people don't join memberships, I'm like, oh my God, you're not you're not ready to market your business. You know, I'm in yeah. 15 different ones. You know, I mean, like you are in 10. You know, and then there's there's some of our colleagues yeah. that you know they're like everywhere, but they know why they're everywhere because mm -hmm. it is a lot, lot cheaper than paid ads. Yeah, so, oh way, way cheaper. It's like way, way cheaper. Saves you a lot if, of I, time. if I spend the same amount that I spend for a, a paid membership, um, I don't come up with any leads. Like I've done it many times where I go and run an ad just to test it out, let's just see. Yeah. Nope, I don't come out with any leads. Yeah. Um, because I have to pay way more. Like it's not gonna be enough um, to do that. Unless you have like very, very about, converting think, funnels. I think, I think personally for me, the good thing about um, VIP memberships is mm -hmm. your post is always there. So if let's say you you you, you signed up for a whole year and at the end of the year you didn't want to continue the admin isn't going to delete your content your content is there it's pre-approved so it's yeah. there and you're still going to be generating leads but i find some sometimes that people are impatient so let's say they sign up for a vip for one month or something like that you're like oh there are no leads yeah. you know there are no leads but you haven't allowed the alg algorithm to get to know you know your content understand who you're trying to attract all that takes time you know even if you and then the consistency is really important too you have to keep keep doing it right it's not a one and done thing you have to keep showing up yeah, yeah. i think that one month doesn't cut it if you're going to be if you're going to do paid membership in any group i don't think that's one month subscription will give you a good result i think you have to at least three six months be in a membership if you're going to do the monthly version at least three to six months get the algorithm to know you get to algorithm to know uh who you're trying to attract get yeah. you to know what kind of post that is working you need to keep testing 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 and then when you find your post that is working and giving you that you know ideal clients then you start building on it but I see some people they come in, they sign up for one month, and they, and I hear things like, "Oh, I didn't get any sale in one month." Hey, come on, <laughs> you haven't even mastered your content. You don't even know your, yeah. what you're promoting. You need to master your content first. The the yeah. group, the people in the group need to know you. You know, nobody knows you. You just come in, you post for one month, and then uh, maybe you post three times in one month, and you're expecting a sale mm -hmm. on unless you're a superhero you're offering something that's incredibly you know amazing but you you don't one month is not enough for you to do that yeah. so we spent 40 minutes and i know that we're rounding up now so do you want to um use the opportunity the last two or three minutes to invite people to check out your group check out your membership check out what you're doing and then talk yeah. about your freebie again okay so my group is Magnetic Women Entrepreneurs, and we have 16,000 members. Right now I'm running a three-day challenge on how to grow and monetize your audience without using ads. Um, so it's I currently just did day three, um, but it's still up, the lives are still up. If you're welcome to come and join the group and watch them, would love to see you there. 
and um, and definitely check out that freebie. Uh, I mean, that lead magnet on five steps to growing and monetizing your Facebook group without ads. Yeah. So to get 1, your first 000. one, you said one thousand. You get one thousand numbers in thirty days. In thirty yeah. days. Yeah. Yep. Definitely go check that out, and would love to see you guys in the group. Thank you so much, Sema. I know that you have to go and pick your kids. Uh, I don't want to keep you waiting. I'm sure that you're probably looking at your time. Oh my God, see that round up, round up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for being in the VIP. And I love the amazing things you're doing. I, I watch you when you come live and when you, when you do your posts. I really love your energy. And, you know, I can see that you're passionate about the people that you serve and your community. Thank you. So, yeah, really, yeah, you know, but if you see something good, just say it, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> um, and I, I love I your energy it. too, like uh, your passion and your energy, like uh, I really do love that. It's very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So um, thank you everyone who is watching. Um, the replay will be up and do check Siama's group. Do check my group if you're watching this and you're like, what are they even talking about? What group is this? So join my group, um, just check out my, my profile. You'll find the link to join my group. And I also do have a membership. Please check out CMS membership and um, we'll see you on our next interview. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye for now. <laughs> God bless everyone. Bye. Bye.